uh, game number two between uh, Holy Wheelbarrow Alliance and Secret Form Alumni. All right, we'll count down. Uh, I'll count down from five, and you can count on the next set. Right? Okay. And we'll we'll, we'll press OK when the go happens. Yep. When I say go, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. Okay. Would you like to uh, start the the announcement of who's playing who on what position? Okay, so I'm going to start off in the top right of the screen. So that's the 2 o'clock position, I guess. It's sort of a weird clock face because it is a rectangle. But mm -hmm. um, that will be Jealous uh, on Team Liquid or Chobo Swaggins is in-game. And he is the blue Protoss player. Yep, and he's uh, definitely getting this pub working. Um, as usual, nothing, nothing, nothing different to see here. And then on the bottom left, we have Thunder Pain, who is the Terran for... Um, for the secret, no, for the holy wheel wheelbarrow alliance. Yeah. 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 Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, but Jealous is part of the Illuminati. So there we go. He's in the mm. top right, and he's very secretive, apparently. Yep, and you see, um, Jealous now making a pull up here, not at the natural really. It's uh, still inside his base. So he may actually try to go for. A wall in his main base, perhaps? I would imagine not. That's usually more of a Berserk thing. This, this, if anything, is probably the most standard place you can build a pylon on this map. Right. But it is possible that it'll make a semi wall to stop vultures later on. Mm -hmm. But this is a good place to put his pylon so he can get the Zella out and across the map quicker if he does choose to go that path. Now, I've played with Jealous quite a lot, and he does like to be a little bit aggressive sometimes, so I'm not sure if he will bring out the aggression this game, but Thunder is not anyone to be scoffed at, because he has improved so much over the past year of when I've not been playing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a bit of a break, and in that time, he has got so much better. I think his max is now C+, and he's verging oh, on wow. B-. minus. I think he was one game off of B minus last season, so he's improved like ten uh, tenfold. Jealous is not to be scoffed at either. He is, I believe, C plus max as well. So we could have a very close game on our hands here. And there is some little minor harassment between the probe and the SCV. Uh, the probe's trying to prevent that uh, barracks to be built, but he's getting uh, harassed by the, the the other SCV. So that's two. That's a that's a SCV that could have been working, but. Because of the probe that can't really work. Oh, and can he get a kill here? No. It's possible. It's very low. Oh, he's still but going he's for it. Be careful, because he may lose the probe. He may lose the probe, the probe, but he may also get a SC Oh! Oh, no. The five SCB HP. Survives on five health, yeah. <laughs> that was unfortunate, but he did go in for a kill there that he maybe wasn't going to be able to get, especially if he used the SCV as well, which he did. That early probe can be incredibly annoying if you keep it alive, and um, it's yeah. very unfortunate that you lost it there. And, and having a, a probe scouting the base constantly is very important, especially to see if, if the Terran is going for a two-fat build, or for uh, a, 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 a six rat, uh, what is it, six? Yeah, deep six. six yeah, deep six build. You don't know what build that's going to happen. But you do yeah. have the SCV, Thunder Pain, SCV at the Protoss base, at Jealous base, the scouting, and, and Jealous is not doing anything about it. Now he has a Dragoon, actually. Yeah, his Dragoon is going to be able to fend that off, but Dimmer, he does actually spot that there is two gates, and there is range on the way, yep. so it does look like he's going for a more aggressive build. Meanwhile, in uh, Dimmerity's base, I'm not sure if he saw the pull-off of gas, but for at least enough time it mm -hmm. took to get... Um, to get some extra marines, you don't uh, actually leave two guys on gas. Mm -hmm. I mean, that SCV very nearly got out of the base there. And he does have uh, three... He has four marines up right now, and he's using the marines to wall off his area. And the SCV seems to be going... went down at the Jealous base. No scouting, and Jealous only has Dragoons, actually. He, doesn't, he didn't even make a single Zealots. Yeah, he went straight into the two two gate dragoon with range pressure and he is going into reavers by the looks of it there is a robotics facility going off in his base now the scary thing for dramurity here is that, uh, bloody ridge does not have a ramp going up into your main 
and there is only four marines. So if Jealous controls this well, he can actually bust in the front. But like the tank will get there. I mean, it's just spawned here. Oh, but he uh, can do quite a decent amount of damage. He may be able to snipe the tank. Can he snipe the tank? The, the tank does not have a siege yet, and the tank is wide open, and he does take the the siege tank out of the way. And all that's left is dragoons against. Uh, Oh, range Dragoons against Marines, which isn't a very good fight for Jamurati, but he is pulling in an SCV, and if he gets a good surround, he should be able to deal with them, but as long as Jealous controls this well enough, he should be able to get a decent number of SCVs. There is a bit of a weird misclick there, where he actually attacks the factory, but he may be able to snipe the second tank again. Sniping the tank, and se uh, tank is important, and, and, um, Thunderpain has able to wall off the, two, the reinforcement Dragoons. So the, the two additional Dragoons cannot get in because of that one supply deep block. Yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. The uh, Dragoons have been blocked out by the supply depot. The tank is siege, so moving in now is going to be a little bit more dangerous. But he can get directly on top of the tank. This and is if very he true. This yes. once again, he's going to be going after the SCVs because the other tank is not ah. to able to do too much on its own. The second tank goes down, there is a siege tank going on, the third tank. But is that going to be sniped too? Uh, the STVs are doing some good work trying to take out the Zagoons, but that's STVs that could have been mined. And, and, the, thir and the third tank does go down as well! Demurity's, uh, Demurity's taking a lot of damage here, but the one mm -hmm. thing to note is back in... Back in Jealous's base, he is still going off of those two gates. He's not made an Nexus yet. Right. And rather than going straight to Reva, he's actually just built a shuttle. And uh, it looks like he's going to expand now. So rather than uh, going straight into the Reaver tank, which could actually destroy Demurity right now, where he has so few tanks and so, uh, such a little defense, he is going to keep trying to build up, uh, build up a contain here with his shuttle and uh, possibly elevate her into the main. Well, I, the I, I, SCV I, may have just seen that shuttle uh, though, so this could be quite dangerous. It could be. And I, I, I honestly think the Protoss could have done a little better in terms of the microwing, the... the the Dragoons, because the Dragoons were basically sniped by the, the STVs earlier. The STVs surrounded the, the, the Dragoons, and they could, he could have definitely shaved off a little more STVs. Yeah, that was a, not so much a blunder. He did well mm -hmm. to do as much damage as he did, but he could have done a lot more. Right. But not to fault Demurity either, because um, getting those STVs around, especially in those positions, isn't exactly easy. Dragoons can be slippery, although they're very clunky at moving around. Um, the, I mean, it's not great. When you're looking at the probe line of Jealous, he has been making probes, but it's possible he did cut a few to get a few extra units out a little bit faster. So even though Demurity did take a little bit more damage SCV-wise, and there's been no harassment on the other side, they're still rather even. Uh, Demurity's got his three tanks up now. He's going to be able to take this, uh, take his... Natural. Natural, yeah. yeah. And there's not too much Jealous can do about it now. He's only really got shot a, a shuttle with a few Zealots in and his Dragoons while he expands back at home. Another thing to point out is that uh, Thunder Pain or Dimitri has been making a turret, which means he actually did see that shuttle. And that's very important because now that shuttle uh, he can't do much of a shuttle play. I mean, he could here. He got the shuttles down, but he lost the shuttle. He got these Zealots landing on top of the tank, getting those oh, no. two tanks in the front. The Dragoons blocked off the Zealots from oh! getting into that tank. That was a very unfortunate mm -hmm. mist micro there that actually walled off his own Zealots from being able to uh, trap and kill that tank before he killed the Dragoons. So that's, right. that's incredibly unfortunate. And you, you do want the Zealots in front of the Dragoons to act as a tank while the Dragoons are literally uh, the range units. Attacking the back. Yeah, I mean, Jealous may be making a, a big mistake trying to push in here. He doesn't really have that many units anymore. And as you can see, the SUV is blocked long enough for the siege tank to completely destroy what little forces Jealous had left. He only has three dragoons still. He's gonna try and pick up on this wall, but he needs to move back. He's gonna try and go for another tank snipe, which may work, but he's gonna lose another dragoon. He's gonna lose Not a lot sure of dragoons here. It. And he. And he, I. Don't believe he has any other Dragoons on the way. He has two actually. But he has three Dragoons total at this time. Whereas Terran has two two tanks and two Marines, and that's easily enough to defend against three Dragoons. 
Yeah, so the the big problem Jealous is going to have here is even though he's taking his triple now, mm -hmm. it's not going to help him very much because if Demurti builds a lot of factories and maybe goes for a four factory push, he's not going to have enough units to defend. He's adding his third gateway now, but the fact he's been building units continuously off two gateways and doesn't have many units alive is quite a testament to Demurti's good defense. Like, uh, Thunder is in a really good position right now. Yeah, so I, I do believe that Thunder Pain, uh, the Terran, is in a very good position because of the fact that um, he didn't lose as much SCVs as uh, you would hope on that harassment early game. So he still has a good number of SCVs. He has the second base up. He has his unit retained. He didn't, and the Protoss just lost so much units. There, there could have been a lot of, of, of effective uh, cost-saving uh, units. But I don't think that shuttle was very cost saving early on. Uh, the zealots, uh, usually you don't you don't really uh, save those zealots, but the dragoons could have been saved a lot more. Yeah, the dragoons are important to keep alive. They're mm -hmm. quite expensive, and when uh, or if a Terran push actually does come out, especially with all the vultures that are going to be on the way with four factories, three non shot, there's going to be a lot of a lot of vultures and a lot of mines. And if he goes in again, he may have a lot of trouble with them as he won't have the correct units to deal with them. Yep, and Observer is up to see the mines, so that affects, effectively um, disables the mines in, uh, unless the mines are in other places where the Observer isn't. And you do have the Vultures, and the Terran actually boxed in because of the fact that the Protoss does have units here. But what the Terran doesn't need to go out yet, he just, he, all you have to do is basically mass build uh, from his three factories. Four factories, actually, and then uh, I, do a uh, one big push. I would imagine he's actually going to push here because mm -hmm. there is only about eight or nine dragoons outside of his right. base. His five tanks and are, he's making that push right tanks now. are enough to uh, enough to take those out. He's already shaved off one dragoon, and even if he pushes now, he should have enough to actually deal with the units. It's four factories against four gateways. And there's not too many zealots. There is going to be a zealot bomb oh. on the tank, and a mine drag does go off. Oh, and, and the mine drop! Did it go off? I yeah, believe it did, did. yeah. Tanks, but all the tanks are very low health, but the thing is, so are these dragoons. And he's going to kill the tanks again, but he's uh. going to lose his entire army, which is uh, very unfortunate. And he's killed another tank, which has nullified the push for a while, at least. But and we do see a probe! We see a battle club into the into Thunder Pink Base. That's disgusting like, easily. I was walking with the Zealous earlier. Yeah. He's, uh, he's in a good position, but once mm -hmm. again, Jealous seems to be overcommitting on these pushes. He, yes. Although he's in a good position still, he does have a third base mining. He's uh, currently he getting the Zealot leg four speed. Gates still. He's adding his, yeah, adding his fifth gateway, mm -hmm. going on to Zealot leg speed. I just can't help but imagine he'd be in a much better position if he didn't overcommit. Right. And well, the thing is, there's constant unit trading right now. There are both both sides constantly losing units left and right. Um, so, so really, really, there this game could be anyone's game still, because there isn't anything that no that's very um, out of the way in terms of harassment. You know, destroying the enemy worker. Um, not yeah. really uh, like shuttle dropping or dropship dropping on. On the, inside the enemy base, we need to see some some of that, and we do see some vultures in towards the uh, the natural of Potus base, but the Potus base has been walled off with pylons. Yeah, so that was actually a very very clever move. The vulture speed has only just finished. It may have finished just a little bit ago, but he's only just now trying to get some harassment done. It's right. actually a, a bad wall on his. Uh, oh, there, so but he did he did get a vulture in through. on the third base. And the uh, the probe. The probes did just pull off. He only lost a couple. Yeah. Protoss is in a very strong position. The fact that he kept trading with the tanks is uh, very useful because the less tanks you have, the harder it is to push the Terran. And he's going to move out now and try and secure his third base. But there but, is, but there is a, a problem right now. now so there, the front. But there the is a problem. problem. Is Jealous actually walled off most of the units in his main to uh, save himself from that Vulture run by, which while worked. Um, He's not in a very good position now because half of his units have been trapped off by the vultures and the mines. They're actually in a room right. stuck in a tree. They can't move. Yeah, I, uh, I saw that. That was pretty funny. Uh, but um, 
But yeah, Perrin does have a third base up, and we don't see a fourth base by Jealous right now from the Protoss. And the third base isn't actually running, but once it does run, you just send three SCVs over. Then you do have a a stronger Terran um, Mako that, that's going to happen. He could pu pump a lot more tanks, a lot more virtues in a very fast pace. And that's going to be very dangerous for the plot to us. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a, a pretty good position for Jealous to be in still. He's actually chasing down the tanks that are on siege. As soon as he loses these others, so he probably does need to pull back because those Dragoons will melt. Uh, and, and those Zealous, they're just one. moving by themselves. They just lost all the Zealous as it was chasing the tanks while the Dragoons were distracted by uh, going for the, the Vultures. And the key about these, this map is that high ground is very, very important. You want to have tanks with the Dragoons at the high ground because it will give a, a significant more advantage. Oh, Zealous coming from behind! That was a very nice flank. He's going to take out all the tanks again. There is a few more tanks heading up, but um, Jealous once again in a really, really good position. He gets Zealous up into the third base, and he and can do does, a significant yeah. amount of damage. Oh, this is going to be a, some big damage if if Thunder Pain does not defend his third base. Luckily for Thunder, the third base is too far away from his rally point, so he does manage to get enough units up there to defend. It looks like Jealous is still a little bit low on gateways. He's now just about added up to about six gateways while he heads on to Arbitech and Recall. Arbitech and, um, is coming You up, can yep. tell through his macro, he is moving his units on, but they are sort of trickling in. Mm -hmm. So he's not really had a big ball to properly punish uh, Thunder for being possibly a little bit spread out. Thunder's doing a good job of keeping his minds up front. He's got a few tanks defending the high ground of the third now, and it's possible right. he may even fall off that uh, entrance to the ground. The constant so, mine is definitely important uh, as a Terran against the Protoss, because you, because mines are a good source of scouting the region, is, is a good source of observing observers, and and when the enemy makes some mistakes, where they just have the entire army go into mines and get decimated by the mines, you, the Terran gets a good. Uh, one-up advantage. And this mine right here, on the Protoss army, that mine did not go off, and you can completely see the vision yeah. of this entire army. Of these Dragoons and Zealots. Yeah, it looks like Jealous is now going to move down in the bottom right and take a fourth, but this is a little bit late. Um, yeah. He's been even with even on bases with the Terran for a while, but the one thing he does have going for him is his recall is nearly finished. I believe he has an Arbiter out already, which is a... Okay, it looks like his first one is now just finishing. But in the main of Thunder, we don't actually see any recall defense up at the moment. And where the main is so wide, it is a very easy map to get, get some very good recalls off uh, straight on the factories. It's very hard to defend the ridges. It looks like Thunder's doing a good job. He's moving over to where Jealous wants to take that fourth base. And from there, he can effectively, as long as he gets some Goliaths with this push, defend against any possible recalls and by putting this pressure on it makes it very hard for Jealous to give up some of his units to do damage it's a very risky situation this map is quite thin so it's very easy for the Terran Ball to quickly push across and as you can see here he's taken the ridge outside of uh, Jealous's map and this is actually going to be a very dangerous position oh, that, to be in. Th this is a very dangerous position for Portos because Terran has this this map control that he has right now. Portos has no choice but to back up for the moment to, to regroup with the Zelfs and Dragoons. He got his Arbiters and hopefully the recall will do some damage or the Stasis. He said the recall was done instead of the Stasis. It looked like recall was done. It may have been Stasis. Uh, it might have been Stasis. Up we'll see. Yeah. We're about to see right now. It was the recall or the Stasis. Either way, the Arbiter Ooh. only has enough uh, energy for one spell. It looks like a lot of the Dragoons have actually pulled off to the tank fire, and all that's really and... left is one oh, okay. Zealot and two Dragoons up there, so... Although he's traded pretty well again, the... Uh, yeah. the, the thing about Terran is that he did not enforce his... His enforcement came very late to defend against the tanks, because you need, yeah. need like a buffer for these tanks to be effective. The other thing is, Jealous at the moment, he's adding on pylons and cannons to his fourth base. He's not actually sent any probes over yet because of the placement of Thunder's army. So it's going to be very difficult to actually get mining off of that base. He's actually building probes down there rather than 
uh, rather than sending them because it's just far too dangerous. There is a tank even blocking the way. Right. I'm not entirely sure if uh, Thunder's actually seen the base. I'm going to send my vision to him. No, so he hasn't even scoured the bomb right at the moment. So right now, Thunder still thinks that um, Jealous is on free base. So he thinks he's still in a good position. There are some Zealots that got but cancelled the fourth attempt by Thunder. That was a pretty ballsy attempt because mm -hmm. he was just building the... Uh, he was actually building the command center on the position plan or anything. I'm a bit surprised, really, that while he was pushing on the ridge uh, up to the Protoss main, he didn't actually try and take the bottom right base. That would actually, I think, be a better choice. But um, for now, it looks like Jealous is going to hold that base. Right. And, and it's, a, it's a pretty big blow for Terran to not get that fourth base up. He had to cancel the, the uh, command center. The stasis has gone up on the two tanks. so. So that puts a hold on the Terran for a little bit. You have two Goliaths to go after the Albertors, but that Goliath will easily go down because it's all by himself. You don't want them by Now, him. just now, there was a very important moment that um, mm -hmm. you may have missed, but okay. basically, Jealous tried to pull some probes out to the bottom right, and as soon as as soon as uh, oh, I actually okay. saw that, he scanned the bottom right base, and he sent one tank over. That's all he really needs. He's got a good position blocking the reinforcements coming in. And uh, he's actually just going to slowly chip away at this base. And there's not really too much uh, Jealous can actually do to defend it. Yeah, he seems incredibly low on units. Um, Thunder has actually done a really good job of trading. It's actually been a very scrappy game. There's not no. really been any moment where both sides have a big army. Not only that, but Terran actually has a 1-1 one -one upgrade, whereas the Protoss does not have any upgrade on his units right now. Yeah, I mean, early on, I think uh, Protoss are... Protoss upgrades are important, but in the long term, mm -hmm. uh, Terran upgrades are actually just significantly better. Yeah. So the longer he goes without getting any upgrades, I'm not sure if... He must have a forge somewhere, as he's got some cannons. He does on the third base. He's trying to find it. Yeah, I'm not sure, no. So he's not upgrading on there yet. Um, he's probably forgoing upgrades, because he is... Really, for his gameplay count, he's actually quite low on money, where he's uh, producing out most of his gameplays all the time. He's actually not got enough income to actually support all of them, so... Oh, there's a wall position. that's going out on the 12 o'clock position. The Vulture trying to get in and going and try to sneak it, sneak their self in with the mine with the Dragoon walking, but... Um, Portos had the time to actually pile on wall himself on that. He yeah, had... he was quite lucky there. Um, He's in a bit of an odd position in that base though, because he can't really get anything up to defend it. He lost his shot earlier. And Terran is pushing up towards the natural of the third. And engaging those zealots. Zealots are in a very good position. There is a defense matrix happening to Yeah, to, to protect defend that them. front tank. Yeah. There was a stasis that went down, but it only actually Ooh. hit two tanks, which is unfortunate. There is a huge storm that goes off there. It's a lot of tanks that he made this one. Oh man, those best storm. Army. He's got a lot of zealots, but there should be enough tanks here on their own to actually take those out. The real and question is, where is the Vultures? Dragoon. Where are the units to to defend those tanks? Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like Thunder's rally was a little bit further back, but uh -huh. he's still in a strong position. He has a he's killed the fourth base, or at least the original fourth base down at the five o'clock. The twelve o'clock is actually up. He's not bothering to uh, mine the gas yet, because he does have quite a gas bank already. Vultures are going to go into the natural, and they're probably going to be able to mine up the uh, front, which is going to make it even harder for Jealous to get out of his base. The third base is more than likely going to go down with these tanks uh, shelling, the, shelling the wall yeah, here. Yeah, and so. the Vultures go in, into the natural, and, and putting mines all over the place. And I think those high Templars are, are actually really good right now. Constantly sniping it, but... Yeah, so what it looks like, um, uh, one thing you may want to do is something in chat mentioned uh, turn off reveal map. Because right. it makes it a little bit hard to see where people are looking. But the, I mean, the big problem Jealous has is he just doesn't seem to have any army left. There's at least eight tanks shelling down his, uh, his third base. Uh, there's no probes there mining anymore. And it's only a stone star away from the Terran's natural for him to actually go and get his fourth base. So. So he only has the 12 o'clock position for his minerals. And if he loses that, then, it, then this may be towards the Terran favor. 
Yeah, I mean, another thing someone in chat pointed out, which is a good good thing to mention, it's actually 25 minutes into the game, mm -hmm. and neither player has actually reached max yet. It's been so scrappy. There's been many battles all around the map, mostly centered around uh, gaining control of the very important ridges. I mean, there, there was a recall on the third base of on the third base of Thunder, which does force the SCVs to run, and the and the command center to lift, but there's tanks to defense. Uh, it's right by um, Thunder's rally point, so all the dragoons that did actually go in have died. Apart, from there's two left underneath the arbiter. But the recall, I think, is a little too little too late. Uh, Thunder's actually pushing into the um, natural base of Jellison. I'm not sure Jellison will really do anything anymore. He's not got the income to support this form of uh, all these gateways, and it looks like he's just. Well, now that but the fine. assault on the 12 o'clock has happened as well, and there's no units to defend the 12 o'clock. So if those pilots go down and the tanks go in, or the vultures or, or goliaths go into the 12 o'clock base, there's, there's nothing to defend against those pilots. Yeah, I don't even think he needs to kill the pylon wall. I think he can just go right next to it and see if he can hit the command center, but Jealous is making a last ditch attempt to get out of his base, and EMP does go down on the Arbiter, Arbiter is stasis. Uh, there's actually another stasis ready, so he does manage to push away this small army, but there are, a, I mean, um, Thunder is sending in some units to take out that fourth base on L. Now actually second mining base, because it's well, only mining base actually. He's completely mined out in his main, he's lost his natural, he's lost his third base, and Jealous is in a very dire position right now. If he uses Arbiter well enough, he can actually come back in the game, but he loses his two Dark Templar. There's two oh, tanks, three tanks he's doing up on top of the ramp. And this is going to be incredibly hard for Jealous to push up to even defend his own base. Jealous is going to go in, they get close to the tank. He's actually split them up really well, so um, only one tank can hit one. Well, two tanks can hit one Dragoon at a time. And he does manage to, it looks like he will clean up that last tank before he can kill his base. He sends the probes back in. He does it under the Arbiter as well. He's going to actually use those to take out the tank. So he is going to reclaim his uh, reclaim his base again. But there's more tanks and more units just outside of his natural, just completely blocking him in. He's actually lost so many probes during this entire game that he yeah. only has about eight probes, I believe, left. He to has mine. Uh, 14 total right now. Yeah, only about eight of them can actually mine minerals. It looks like a lot of them are still on his main gas. He's transferring a few of them now. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a huge army from Thunder that he's managed to back her up, heading across the map, and GG is cool. GG! Nice, um, uh, amazing first game there. Amazing victory by the Terran player Thunder Pain or Dimitri for he he Holy Wheel Barrel Alliance. And that goes 2 0 for Holy Wheel. Uh, Barrel Alliance. Yeah, so the uh, secret for uh, secret for